In this lesson, we'll review how to access the example projects from Espressif via the API reference and via GitHub. Also, we'll use the ESPIDF Eclipse to access and build and flash an example from the ESPIDF. Okay, so if you're new to using the ESP32 and or the ESPIDF, the example projects can help you get started as they demonstrate features and provide code that you can adapt for your own projects. Okay, so I'm standing on the programming guide now, and I'll just head over to the API reference. And this is the complete list. And later we'll go through the API reference of various features relevant to the application we're developing. The API reference often, or perhaps always, includes links to ESPIDF examples. For example, if we go over to Ethernet, we see that code examples for the Ethernet API are provided in the Ethernet directory of the ESPIDF examples. So let's follow that. And here are the Ethernet examples and the README with details. This is Espressif's GitHub for the ESPIDF. And if you open the link in the resources that I've provided called Espressif ESPIDF GitHub, which is here, you'll find the full list of example projects. Okay, so another convenient way to access the examples is directly from the ESPIDF Eclipse. Here I've created a separate workspace just to demonstrate how to access the examples so you don't have to do what I'm doing now. So first I'll close this Welcome tab, and then I'll go to File, New, Espressif IDF Project, and then I'll give it a name, and then click Next. And I'll just maximize this so you can see it better. And then if I check this box, create a project using one of the templates, we can access the examples directly and create the project in Eclipse. So all the examples are here, including peripherals. But I'll just load the Blink project. So I'll select it, then click Finish. And first I'll update the target to ESP32. And then I'll select the serial port for my Rover dev kit. So I'll just expand the project files. And I'll open the blink.c and update the blink GPIO to one of the LEDs on my dev kit. And then I'll build the project. And we want to build now so that we can generate the SDK config file so that we can make the change regarding the certificate. OK, so now the SDK config is generated. So now let's do the update regarding the certificate. And we'll say, use only the most common certificate. And then now we can rebuild. OK, so now I'll flash the example. And now I can see that the red LED on my dev kit is blinking based on the interval from the example. All right, and also we can open a monitor to view the print messages. And we see the LED turning off and then turning on over and over based on the interval. All right, so there you have it. So that's all for now, and see you in the next one.